Hi students, welcome to Evershai Coaching Center. Today I will be discussing topic Converse of Pythagoras theorem. Okay, how to prove Converse of Pythagoras theorem. Uh, my dear students, I can tell you one more thing. This theorem can be expected for this year exam because it is having more weightage to ask. Is this clear? So do not neglect any of these theorems. Okay. Now the question can be asked for you in two forms. That is, either they can ask you state and prove converse of Pythagoras theorem, or okay, they may ask you only statement. Means you have to write only statement, not prove. State and prove means both you have to do. It. Prove that means only you have to prove the statement, given statement. Is this clear? Now the statement is of Pythagoras. In the triangle, if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. This is what actually we need to prove. So this is the statement of converse of Pythagoras theorem. As I said to you before, always in the statement, they will give first half of the statement, the question, and next half of the statement, what we have to prove. So let me, we begin. Now what is the question here? In a triangle, we have a triangle. Which type of triangle? Let me see. If the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then we have to prove the opposite. Uh, then the angle opposite of the first side is a right angle. It is just opposite. In Pythagoras, what we did? We, uh, we took one side square on the hypotenuse. Okay. We have to prove the, the square on the hypotenuse value will be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. But here, completely opposite. Here, what we are doing? Squares of the sum of the opposite sides, if they are, okay, that value is equal to, we have to prove the square of the hypotenuse. Then only we can say that uh, the corresponding angle is 90 degree. In any case, remember, if angle is 90 degree, then it is Pythagoras. Is this clear? Now, what we do here? Very simple. First, I am going to draw one triangle. Let me name this triangle as ABC. As per the given statement, we can see here, we write data. In triangle ABC, he has already given that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. In the statement already they have given the square on the one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Okay, this is actually we were proving in Pythagoras, but here he has given this. Okay, now what we have to prove? If this is a case, we have to prove such type of triangle in which if this condition satisfies, we have to prove that angle B is equal to 90 degree. We need to prove angle B is equal to 90 degree. Is this clear? Now, to prove this, angle B is 90 degree, we are doing one small construction. Children, please follow these steps. When construction part comes, then only you have to do construction. If not, you should not do. Is this clear? When you have construction, then we have to do construction. What is the first triangle? Mein kya diya hai? Square of the uh, of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, we have to prove the right angle. So, what do we have to do? We have to do a small construction. Kar hai. We are doing one small construction. What is this construction is very simple. I am going to draw one more new triangle of the same size, okay? PQR. I am going to name this triangle as PQR. Draw triangle PQR right angle right angle at Q. The condition is I am going to draw a right angle triangle. Understood. I am going to draw one right angle triangle. Draw triangle PQR in which right angle dot Q such that such that we can see here this PQ distance is equal to the AB distance. Means the length of PQ is equal to AB. So PQ kitna hai, utna hi AB hai. Okay. We are assuming PQ value will be equal to AB value. PQ is equal to AB and QR is equals to BC. Can you see this QR? No, this is equals to BC. QR is equals to BC. Is this clear? So what we have to take on the condition PQ is equals to AB and QR is equals to BC. Any doubts? Okay, this is the construction what we did. Now coming back to proof. In proof, what we do? 
see children very simple now i am taking triangle that is from triangle pqr now the new triangle what i have got already we know that angle q is 90 so we can apply pythagoras yes we can apply pythagoras for triangle pqr so uh, as per the pythagoras the square of the hypotenuse that is nothing but pr square is equals to pq square plus qr square is this clear according to pythagoras reason pythagoras theorem okay according to Pythagoras theorem we can say that PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. Now we know one thing. I am writing PR square as it is. Now what is PQ? We can see here PQ is equal to AB. So can we substitute in place of PQ as AB? AB square as it is plus QR place that I can substitute BC square is as it is. <laughs> is this clear? <coughs> Is this clear? PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square. How did we get this? We get we got this from construction. <laughs> In construction, already we have done this. Right? Good. Now what we do? Observe it. So PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is from construction. But we know one thing. Okay, this is from construction. Uh, as well, I will make this as uh, equation 1 also. I will consider this equation as equation 1. This is construction. I am going to consider this equation as equation 1. <laughs> now, already in the question, he has given something. Can you see here? Yes. In the data, what he has given? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Right? <laughs> Understood? Let me call this is equation 2. It is given. It is given in data. Or we can say data. Reason is data. Reason is data. Now, what we can conclude from equation 1 and 2? What can we conclude from equation 1 and 2? Can you all observe here? Is both the RHS are equal? Can you see this? Is both the RHS are equal, that is AB square plus BC square, here also AB square, you no need to draw the box, just I am showing you. Since both the RHS are equal, then definitely LHS will also be equal. Yes or no? That's nothing but from equation 1 and 2, we can say that PR square is equal to AC square. So therefore, we can say that PR is equal to AC. This is equation 3. I am going to consider this as equation 3. So, PR is equal to AC or AC is equal to PR as you wish. <laughs> is this clear? If you want, you can write AC is equal to PR also. Okay, because AC comes in first triangle, PR comes in second triangle. So, I will take like this. Okay. So, this is equation 3. Now, we can say that therefore, now I will compare both the triangles. In triangle ABC, and triangle PQR in triangle ABC and triangle PQR we know that AB is equal to PQ in construction we have done AB is equal to AB is equal to PQ and BC is equal to QR this both from construction yes or no AB is equal to PQ, BC is equal to QR, then AC is equal to PR. This is from where we got from equation 3. Is it not? So now we can say that therefore triangle ABC is congruentially equal to triangle PQR. This is nothing but from SSS congruence. Side, side, side. Because all the three sides of first triangle is equal to all the three sides of <coughs> second triangle. Is this clear? So now we can say that if triangles are completely equal, now we can say that the corresponding angles are also equal, yes or no? So we can say that angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle B is equal to angle Q. We know that angle Q is 90 degree. Angle Q is 90 degree. So therefore we can say angle B is also is equal to 90 degree. Angle B is also is equal to 90 degree. Hence proof. Is this clear? So this is what converse of 
Pythagoras theorem, it is one of the very important theorem. You should know the statement and how to prove this theorem, both the things. Okay. So I hope you all have liked this video. Please do not forget to comment. How did you like this video? Understood? How did you like the explanation and the contents? How it is being used and how much it is helpful for you all. Okay. Do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get still more latest updates regarding the next videos.